Hey, hi, I'm Gerald too. <laughs> I'm Gani, or Ginbu, as they would say in Norwegian. <laughs> I'm a photographer and a teacher, born and raised in a small seaside town on the west coast of Norway. And I'm a photographer based in Singapore. The snow is making it like sand. It takes you just sink into it. The view is amazing. It's incredible. Well, I kind of grew up in a island quite far south. It was really flat. Uh, the highest mountain top in, in my island, which is called Kalame, is actually 129 meters. I think Norway is fairly different from that in Singapore. So many mountains. The incredible thing about Lofoten is you never know what you're going to get. The snow is just getting on mountain tops. And as soon as you get around the corner, that's just another peak and you just never know what's going to come. <laughs> oh boy, it's cold. Like you see around town here, there's these like fish racks everywhere. In summer season, you'll see all the fish heads are just lined up on all these fish racks. The fishermen only go out with the fishing boats, like with every month that has an R in it. That's why it's so important to always have a fish soup when you're in your Lofoten. I think it would be very different from that in Singapore. I mean, there is fish soup in Singapore, but it's a bit different from how it is right now. It's really good though. We're on our way to Riten. And we're going to probably go up to the white snow. From there, we're going to look down at these beautiful beaches. I was told by the local to bring a good one. <laughs> He's been living here for his whole life. So many good stories. All right. You feel like you get to the top, and then there's another one and another one, and every time you kind of get a bit disappointed. The snow is making it like sand. It takes you just sink into it. Yeah, what in the world, man? What do you think, bro? <laughs> Stoked. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> Never seen anything like this before. The camera's been so good. It's so light to carry. It's been like around my neck all the time. The mountain is making this like beautiful gradient now. And the camera really gets the details, both in the shadows and in the highlights of the snow. It's not my best side, but it's not that I'm loving it. So you really see the benefits of having the in-body stabilization in the camera. I think like the light is so important when it comes to photography. Like even the word photography means drawing with light. And this camera has really impressed me with that because that's basically, you never know how it changes here. Dynamic range is amazing because like it captures both the dark spots and balance it off with the bright spots in the sky because of like the dramatic clouds and like how bright it is supposed to be actually. The camera just handles it really very well. So exploring this country on my own, going on these kind of adventures, is, it's definitely fun. But it's been really nice to have someone that understands photography and shares my passion for it all. Yeah, it's been amazing. And I really am excited to bring you around my home in Singapore. Can't wait. Do you think I'll manage the spicy food? 
Well, you can try. <laughs> you can try.